Hey, people. I told you in that movie yesterday that I started my journey in the Bible with math. And the math just wasn't adding up. And so when the math doesn't add up, it just means it's not true. And that's ancient Egyptian word. And that's where your word Matthew comes from. The God of truth, justice, and law. You know, if your math skills aren't good, you're not going to be a very good judge. You've got to add it all up. And so this Matty here, that M-A-T-I, is the same thing as M-A-T-T. -T. In Egypt, you know, when they double a letter up, it means two of them. And it's, it becomes the I, Matty. And you'll see it here. This is Matty, and then this is your yod he vav the Lord, the Lord of Justice, Truth and Justice, the Matthew. And so Matthew was removed from the Old Testament. It's one of the first things I noticed when I started reading this word, 853. It comes up 11,000 times, the most used word in the Bible. Here, 7,000 times, just like this. And they never give it a meaning. This and here, this is coming from this one. They've just given this vav, the meaning and, and they don't give this a meaning. A T and it means the knowledge and writings and that would be like the most important thing that they had left out that I noticed. You see anytime they give something a meaning you know it's in red but you see this there's no meaning they never give this a meaning and they'll tell you a story about it's not pronounced in English because it's the sign of the definite direct object not translated in English but generally proceeding and indicating the accusative. And I showed it also in that movie yesterday, the accusative come from the word echo is what you heard. So there's this big list of words that have this A-T in them that they don't translate. And it is Matt. And show enough, Matthew, the Matt, Matthew, comes up when the Lord is given out the justice, the Justice, Lord, you, Matthew. And he comes up in Sodom and Gomorrah when he's slinging brimstone. And then the next time you see it, a wind the Lord brought. And so the mat is just not translating here. It would be red if it was. But that's Matthew and the justice, the wind the Lord brought. And the fire the Lord and consumed is Matthew. And then you see it here in Joshua, you know, to see Matthew, see the justice. And in Samuel here, you know, the rue, they say this is a spirit. I say it means to awaken. The rue and, and roe, they say this is evil most of the time. And the roe is the feminine part of the children, the seed, the fish eggs, is the roe. And the roe of Matthew to awaken the evil Matthew, Lord of Justice. And here again in Kings is that the row Matthew. The row, you know, the, the, the children of the royalty is where that comes from. Fish, the fish heads were the, were the royalty. That's where your word official comes from. And their children were the row. The row Matthew and the children of the justice and then you see that every time this word comes up in Psalms you know it's Matthew 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 and then in Isaiah it's Matthew and you see when they use this other word they say is Lord Adani you know coming after the the truth you see it's still the destruction of decisive the the judge Matthew and Isaiah Matthew and here in Jeremiah he uses a lot you see all Ali Ali Rami who Matthew Ali Rami who Matthew and he starts a bunch of them with that you know the first line Ali Rami Matthew Ali Rami and Ali Ali is high and Rami is branches the high branches who Matthew, the Justice Lord. 
And in 26, it starts a little different. Had ever these Matthew. And this uh, Elamer, the math, this is Y-E-U. U and Elamer. It means to all the little details. And Ali Rami, the Matthew, the Justice Elamer. And looks into all the little details. Starts a whole bunch of them in Jeremiah like that. Ali Rami. Matthew Lammer and Ali Rami and the high branches who Matthew incent the justice incent and so it looks like most every time this word they use this word in Jeremiah is talking about the justice Ali Rami who Matthew and Ali Rami who Matthew when booked when they they forget this you they say and the Lord and Nebuchadnezzar. They're totally leaving it out, but it's when when bucked, when got rid of. Ra the son Zar XR the Zar says Zar here. Usually given the meaning enemy in Hebrew. And then Ali Rami, the high branches who Matthew a hurry. That's this after. You you running behind, you're in a hurry. And then back to Ali Rami, Matthew Lammer. And Ali Rami, Matthew have them. Runs that same a lot, Ali Rami, Matthew Lammer. And, uh, and so this Jeremiah, it looks like it's talking about a painter. It's where Matthew comes up the most. Matthew still in Jeremiah. And Ezekiel uses the Matthew. And Obadiah as begins with Matthew, the justice, the justice, what's her? In Micah, it's the uh, herd, the row, the evil is what they say. That is most of the time, row or, or to see the justice, the Matthew. And so every time it's used in Micah, it's Matthew. And have a cock, that's Matthew. Zechariah, it's Matthew, the Godel, the good Matthew. And so this tells me, you know, this from here, this is just this one M here. But when they translated the Hebrew Bible, they left out all Matthew. They left out all truth. There's no truth in the translation. So this is the calendar taken off the wall of the tomb of King Tut. And the red lettering here, that red is Adam, and it means the old wording, and this is the new wording. You see a lot of them the same, and then some of them change. This is the old word, and this is the new word, the old word and the new word. And so this starts with Matthew, the Lord Matt. And so um, in Egypt, you, in in Hebrew and in the Greek, you, I show you that it rhymes and raps a lot. And this is rap. And so this is a NBT. NBT. And so this is a NBT. And that's how you know that. And so uh, this is Matt. And so the Egyptologists, they, they assumed that this was an M. And it's a, it's a blade for cutting grass. And all the blades are Zs. And this is a uh, represents the earth, and this is a a hand with a T in it. And so they'll say that this is an M because they're trying to match it up, but they're not understanding. But this is the old language, and this is the new language. And so they give this an M, but it's not. It's a Z, and a Z, and the earth, and Zerts, and then the hand is the B, and in it is a loaf of bread, the T. But this is a a calendar. And uh, and it plainly says Ness. This is Ness. This is the serpent in the garden. And so this uh, this feather, you know, one of the feathers without the little ball on it. That's the I and the A. One is an A and two is an I. But this is the feather of Matt here. And so if you read this just by its phonetic value, it's sorts. Z A R T S. The sorts. The sorts. And then B T M A T I, the sorts of time. And then N B T N B T, and uh, and it's not nibit nibit. 
it's the the time in and the B is the V in what in the time in what in what the time in what in what hour Horace the hour come it the hour commit committing is and so it's a it's a daily planner you know and what our committing is and that's what this is doing it's showing the 365 day Egyptian calendar King Tut and when you add all your 12 months up then you come back to the five days of the celebration you got 360 days and then you got your five days celebration and it's Matthew in what in what our committing is. So the other day I was accused of trying to create my own language to fit my narrative. But I'm not. I'm using Matthew. I'm using the truth and the math to add this up. And the math says that these ancient Egyptians are where our English was. The sorts in time at in what in what our committing committing is. Your daily planner. Use your time wisely. I'm going to cut this off here. Good day.